What is up guys, Six Max here, and today here on the Carnage channel, we're bringing you another video in our series where we bring you guys a DNA bomb with every gun in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. As you guys can see here on the screen, today's video is with the IMR. This gameplay is brought to you guys by Carnage Pred. Make sure you guys show, show him some love for this gameplay. It's just a beast gameplay. Also, if you're interested in my channel, we'll be down below as well, you guys. And any of the support you give us on all of our channels here on the Carnage channel, my channel, his channel, is greatly appreciated as always, you guys. But anyways, back to the gameplay here. Like I mentioned, he's using the IMR here, which is a pretty solid gun if you can master how to use it. Now, it is a burst assault rifle, so if you tend to have some pretty good success with burst weapons, I would say check this one out because it's a four-round burst AR, and it can do some pretty good work. Pred's playing here on the map Recovery, which is a map that takes place on a volcano in Hawaii. And as you guys probably know, that's a, you know there's a unique little part about this map that's uh, partway through the match, the volcano starts to erupt, and you have to evacuate to the other half the map and continue the game from there so it's a pretty cool little part of the map there and uh, but anyways you guys in today's commentary I want to update you all on, on some things happening in the Call of Duty community and uh, so that, that way you guys can stay up to date on what's going on so typically of a brand new release being at, you know out about a month or so like Advanced Warfare is uh, we've been seeing a lot of changes and a lot of patches happening and stuff like that so recently the Battle 27 actually was nerfed on the Xbox 360 now we all probably know by now the Bow has been hands down the most popular their gun in the game the fact that it has almost no recoil it has a good fire rate and a good amount of damage made this gun quickly the favorite gun in the game and even for the pros I mean I can't even think of a single pro player using a different gun in the most recent you know the 5k and the 10k tournaments that just finished you know not too long ago and uh, the pros even said you'd be dumb not to use the bow but like I said the gun has been patched um, but that's only happened on the Xbox 360 so far so make sure if you guys are on the next gens enjoy it while it lasts it'll be coming to the next gen consoles as well well very soon I'm not sure when it you know when exactly but it's definitely coming and it drastically changed the recoil on the gun trust me you guys the recoil is massively different on the patch which should be good it'll help balance out the guns in the game a little bit I know before the game came out Sledgehammer was talking about you know the reasons why they didn't want dead silence in the game and a big reason was because they didn't want to have a perk that everyone was going to use on every class especially in the competitive community that's and that's just how dead silence was well the bow was essentially the same thing but the patch should help that a ton. They still need to buff the SMGs in my opinion, but uh, but it's still a good step in the right direction. So besides the bow, what else has been happening with COD? Well, recently we just got word that anyone with a season pass will get a little present pretty soon on December 11th. So anyone with a season pass on the Xbox One and the Xbox 360 will get access to the AE4, which is like a directed energy assault rifle, which sounds actually pretty nuts. I don't think I've ever seen a directed energy assault rifle before, so I'm curious to see how this guy works out. It looks pretty cool actually and uh, we also got word that there'll be some new character loot sometime uh, you know coming up this week or I think it's next week I'm not really sure uh, at the time I'm recording this video which is some of the elite Nigerian commander gear if you you know you like that kind of look you can put that on your guy and all that kind of stuff Activision also started this big campaign to take a look at you know kind of like the past and uh, look at how popular in, in retrospect the Call of Duty series has been and they said that over hundred and twenty five million players have played Call of Duty since 2010 which is more than the population of the largest 300 cities in the US combined. Just think about that, combined, which is nuts. But anyways, that was just a few Call of Duty updates for you all. Hope you guys enjoyed that Beast IMR DNA gameplay there, which uh, was again by Carnage Pred. Make sure you guys go show him some love for the gameplay, you guys. And also drop a like down below if you enjoyed the video, you guys. Let's try to hit over 500 likes on this video. That would be amazing. And uh, But anyways, again, this is Six Max, and I'm out of here, but I will talk to you all in my next video.